Peace, family. Thank you for joining us for another Connections hosted by Dr. Jax and Brother Hatim. Join the conversation. We come from a... So the information that we have requires a certain level of mastery, a certain level of you take apprenticeship up under someone. Now we have individuals that are able to get on the internet and take internship under individuals that they have never met, that they have no physical connection to, and gather information and start thinking that they are able to share that information because it's just information, but it's more than information. This, 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 these sciences, these, this, this, this information is more than just knowledge that we're spreading. It's, it's, it's a living, ideas are alive to me. And I see them manifest and I see them drain individuals who are not ready for them. This is why you will have to go through an initiation process and be monitored as you went into these fields. Well, we have individuals that are going into it without any guidance or any protection. They don't even know their own mm. family lines. Mm. You don't know how, you don't even know your grandmother's name to call it to help you out. Mm. Mm. Or have the sense to know that you need to know your grandmama's name to call her for protection. Mm. So what we have, we have individuals getting lost in in, in a murk, getting lost in 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 a in a deepness that serves no earthly purpose. And it's dangerous. And hence the level of depression or or frustration that people no, not just let me, let me say this. The level of depression was already there before they start seeking. So a lot of people are using occult knowledge to take the place of some of the drugs and the alcohol that they would do otherwise. Mm, mm, it, it's mm. all escaping who you are and escaping the world that you in because you don't know how to really use it to make changes in your material or in this physical existence mm -hmm. so then the depression and all is magnified. Or the, it's magnified but then if this does no earthly good no physical good then is it a depression in a spiritual space? Yes. Actually, it forms a depression in your whole life because a lot of people that experience this can't work. No. You can't you can't go nowhere to work because once you start talking, they know something wrong. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You you can't use the skill that you master that you think that you mastered to work. So you're just living off the grace of people that love you until you burn that shit out. So this is this is the, the the issue that I've been wrestling with because I have been running to young person after young person after young person. You know what I'm saying? Because I got to remind some of the young people that I work with. I said, listen, you gonna have some of the deepest rituals out here. You sitting out here seeking deep shit when you have not explored your home it's sort of like that story of the individual who the acres of diamonds you ever heard that one i know you heard that acres of diamonds where the dude um got dissatisfied where he was and he heard about people getting rich elsewhere so he mm. sold his little piece of property and he went out elsewhere you know what i'm saying and looking for riches and when he came back to his home because he got frustrated because the riches wasn't out there he figured he'd come home and just start living his life and he started finding, he found out that when he got back to his property, that the place that he had sold for pennies was a diamond. It was full of diamonds. So when he came back, he couldn't even afford to even. To, on his own property, his previously. On his previous property. own property, it was acres of diamonds. So he sold his birthright to go out to the world to find some other shit that was out there when all of all the time it was right there that sounds like a bit